They were out to kill and bomb. Dissident Republicans tried to murder a policeman in Fermanagh at tea time on Saturday. A few hours later, they tried to blow up the policing board headquarters in Belfast. It appears that security forces had intelligence about the shooting, but little knowledge of the planned bombing. Three men are still being questioned in connection with the shooting in Garrison. So, are the police finally making inroads into dissident Republican activity? And just what are the dissidents trying to achieve? Here's now Donnelly. The deadly weapons of dissident Republicanism, the bomb and the bullet, were out in force over the weekend. The bullets were meant to kill a newly qualified police officer in Fermanagh. The 400-pound bomb was meant to blow the policing board's headquarters in Clarendon Dock in Belfast to smithereens. That bomb had homemade explosives packed into two kegs and was left in a car. Only the detonator exploded. Police sources say the vehicle had been fitted with false number plates. They say if the bomb had gone off, it could have killed four harbour police officers who had rushed in to clear the area. This red car found burnt out in the New Lodge area of North Belfast is believed to have been used by the bombers. In Garrison in Fermanagh at 6 o'clock on Saturday evening, a gang of gunmen drove into the village. They wanted to murder a Catholic police officer who lives here, but the attack was foiled. The terrorists opened fire and the police returned to warning shots. There's a sense of shock and a sense of revulsion that uh, this sort of incident should happen in this uh, small community. It was certainly, it was totally unexpected. There's a large family circle living in this area, and uh, uh, this, uh, you know, this, uh, this incident would have a profound effect on, on, a, on a large section of this community. Those who study the activities of the dissidents closely say the fact that this bomb here at the policing board did not fully explode, and the fact that a murder plot was foiled in Fermanagh will leave the dissidents asking themselves some searching questions. Either they've got an informer inside, they've been picked up and overheard in a listening operation, or they've been monitored and seen in an undercover surveillance operation. But clearly what happened in Fermanagh was a pre-planned police operation. They must have known about the targeting, they must have known precisely about the target, and the dissidents will now occupy uh, all of their time uh, in, in the period ahead thinking about uh, were we compromised from within or have we been picked up in one of these surveillance operations from outside. The dissidents' intelligence is good. They knew where the policeman in Fermanagh lived, and just a few weeks ago they came close to seriously injuring or killing a policeman's partner in East Belfast. But what exactly are they trying to achieve?